is awkward. That's a video. <laughs> So yes, that's it. We are in Norway now. And uh, well, Haley and I are here for two weeks and we're in our car. We've called the car Benson. Thanks for the free parking. Which we think translates to... It does. Petrol. Gasoline. <laughs> uh, so yeah. And Europe. We're in Norway for two weeks. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You're driving. It's on this side. <laughs> and we are starting our drive which goes for about 22 hours, 24 hours up to Lofoten Island. But yeah, we're here for two weeks. Uh, we're gonna be camping and sleeping in the car as much as possible, accommodation when we need it, when we need showers and whatnot. Uh, it's gonna be photography focused. We have decided that we are gonna drive to the north of Norway from Oslo as quick as possible and then work our way slowly down for that two weeks and it should be a lot of fun and the hardest part is we know we have a heap of driving to do. We've got to keep it our mindset on getting north because not tomorrow, but the day after is the only sunny day there for the foreseeable future. So we want to make sure we're there for that. It could be bigger, but it's what we have. <laughs> warning light yeah that's fixable as long as it's nothing like uh the engine's gonna shut down in the middle of norway somewhere fuel in diesel yeah light. yeah we've <laughs> had that before diesel in petrol water tank uh that's nothing won't worry about it then You asked her what her suggestion for donuts were, and what did she say? She recommended two. It's her fault, she sold us a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look.
about that? Blue sky does exist in Norway. Here we were beginning to think that there was just gonna be cloud the entire time we're here. Does anyone else eat uncooked pasta? Am I, am I the only one that doesn't do this? You do it! <laughs> <laughs> Look So we've been driving all day. Uh, well, we've been in the car for nine hours. We've come to, or well, we've come through rather, Saltfvelik Svartisen National Park. Uh, <laughs> so we've come through the park and the sky has opened up a little bit, there's a bit of blue sky, and we're gonna find somewhere to camp for the rest of the night. But this national park is just absolutely beautiful. One of the hardest parts about this trip so far is having to drive past all these really awesome spots that we just wanna stop and take photos. But because we decided we're probably gonna stay here tonight, I'm gonna go back to the waterfalls that we sort of uh, drove a couple of kilometers just up the road. Really torrenty, milky blue uh, water crashing and all this beautiful fall color behind us as well is just everywhere at the moment. It's absolutely beautiful. What are you doing, mate? Help him get <laughs> Dinner was actually pretty good. There's two sacred times that we have in our marriage between Haley and I. That's bedroom time and dinner time. Bedroom time? What the fuck is bedroom time? <laughs> Sex. <laughs> So this is the spot here that we drove past before. Uh, might have enough light, it is starting to rain again. But first things first, I need to get warm. Much better. settled on is a uh, vertical composition and I'm not really happy with the composition but I'm running out of time and running out of light so I sort of have to just get what I can today and maybe if we have time in the morning and there's enough light I'll come back if it looks all right but the problem with the composition is it's too heavy on one hand on one of the sides you've got the stream which cuts uh, the river sort of on the I guess the top third you'd say but there's a lot of yellow there's a lot going on in the bottom right hand corner and that's the prominent part of the image and it's quite bare on the other side especially with a uninteresting sky so if I had more time I could probably find a better composition further up but I'm just running out of time and it's a bit late you probably can't tell it might still look very light but it's uh it's, it's getting quite dark so I got the wide angle lens on and just trying to use that to quickly frame up just a, a vertical shot that sort of captures what I think is what I think is the best I can do right now. It's the best way to put it, I guess. But yeah, we'll see how this one turns out.
Oh look, today wasn't about photography at all. Today was about driving and driving hard. Uh, we've done our sort of mission accomplished, if you will. We did actually fall short of the mission, but tomorrow is Sunday, and the ferry that we need to catch from Bodo to Bodo, yeah, Bodo to the Lofoten Islands doesn't leave until midday. So we still got 120 k's. We thought, why rush? We'll see a few things on the way. Uh, once we realised that we couldn't get that ferry, so yeah, look, it's just fun to get out here and take some photos. I, I cannot believe how beautiful it is here and just everywhere you turn, every corner you turn, there's something to photograph. I do feel quite privileged to be here. So allow me to introduce how we're going to sleep on this Norway trip. So the reason we got Benson the wagon is we're planning on sleeping in the back of the car. And uh, it's definitely long enough for me if we sleep with my head up the tailgate end. Uh, and the seats, which we weren't sure if they did or not, but they fold flat, which is gonna be perfect. So yeah, this is what we're planning on doing in Norway, sleeping in the back of the car. So we'll set it up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, done. So there is our bedding sorted out. And we also have two sleeping bags. Is that mine or yours? Yours, it's gross. Oh, what? It's not gross. It's soiled. Used, I meant used. <laughs> have you soiled it? No, I have not soiled it. And there it is. That's our sleeping arrangements. I tell you, it's lucky we love each other because they're some close quarters. Anyway, that's it. We're going to go to sleep. We're getting an early start tomorrow morning. And we'll see you guys then. Where'd you go? Wee wee!